Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Yi Chen from Taku in Cupertino. Uh, today is Sunday, so we're doing our sound sharing today. And then, Happy New Year 2023. And then the coming up uh, in a couple of weeks will be Chinese New Year. So this year, the Chinese New Year is uh, uh, fall on the uh, January. You know, it's a uh, a little bit earlier than uh, regular years so uh, but it's all good and uh, uh, the year of a new coming year will be the year of a rabbit and then uh, uh, the element will be water water rabbit so for the you know in Chinese uh, Chinese the uh, five elements instead of uh, Western uh, we are talking about four elements so five or uh, just so you know, the five elements uh, are metal, wood, water, fire, and earth. So those are five elements. Okay. Uh, so again, uh, sound sharing and then uh, it's a singing bowl today and I'm going to play a little bit uh, American Indian flute. Uh, just kind of mix up and uh, yeah, I feel like uh, the energy is coming, uh, is kind of a slowly getting lighter and then uh, smoother, kind of a slowly like a, a, a feeling the, uh, the, uh, the energy, the uh, activation, the, uh, you know, uh, the energy is kind of going uh, feeling going right now, you know, not like the end of uh, uh, 2022, kind of just a uh, uh, going war and then, you know, uh, uh, like a winter hibernated, you know, uh, but right now I think uh, I, I can feel the energy kind of slow, slowly moving forward and uh, because also because today is uh, we got sun comes out. And, and anyway, well, I'm so grateful that uh, we have been having uh, rains, even though there are some like uh, storms and rain in uh, uh, Northern California. And then that would actually help the, uh, uh, our drown for the, you know, so many years in California area. So at least, for, you know, for the Northern northern part of California. So that's very good. Uh, we've been getting rains on and off, on and off, and pretty good rain, you know, for the past about a month, you know. Uh, I believe that was after I came back from uh, Mount Shasta, that was uh, November or early December. But anyway, so yeah, so this is, uh, this is a great news. Uh, uh, we definitely need a rain because the rain, the water, uh, make us feel the rain uh, make us feel like a refresh, refreshing, and then kind of a cleansing, you know, uh, for our environment, for our body, our you know, our minds and our emotions. So that's very good. So enough of that. Uh, I think we should just get started with this uh, crystal singing bowl. Uh, and also uh, a little bit of American Indian flu. Okay, so if you like, you can take a few deep breaths. And then close your eyes if you like or if you prefer. And focus on your heart and as well as your third eyes, third eye. So that way, you know, we are, uh, by uh, going, going into this uh, meditation stage, then it's gonna help you to open up your heart as well as open up your third eye, you know. And 
then we ask for ascending masters and uh, archangels and angels, and then you know, uh, Lemuria, uh, Taylor's families, soul families, uh, Maushasa families, soul families that uh, come to assist us with this uh, uh, sound sharing session. And then we 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 thank you. We are grateful for your support and assist all the time. If you like, you can uh, invite also your guardian angel, your spirit guides, and your you know spirit animals come to you. Uh, dragon, unicorns, and fairies, and you know, uh, all those uh, uh, in the higher dimension that continue to support us and help us, you can ask to communicate with them, ask them to come forward to you, so you can starting to uh, tap into this uh, spirituality and then higher dimension. started this uh, session 
uh, I just got a, a boost of energy coming through uh, the bear energy. So the spirit animal bear just came through and then that energy last about 20 seconds and continuously on and off coming coming in to me so uh, i was guided to share this uh, spirit animal bear uh, information with you that's why i went went to get the uh, book this is a medicine card it's a tarot, tarot cards with this book and I really love this one. Also, Ray, Ray was the one who uh, introduced uh, this book to me. I think uh, it's a very nice book. If you like to, uh, if you can connect with the uh, spirit animals, uh, this will be a very good book for, for you to reference when, whenever you, you connect with uh, any like animals, okay? So I'm gonna just read a little bit about this, uh, you know, attributes about this uh, bear uh, spirit animal. So that way you get to understand. Uh, but I don't know why the bear bear energy or the bear just came came through. So I guess uh, uh, the bear has a message for for me and for everyone. Okay. So bear, invite me into the cave where silence surrounds the answers you gave. So bear means introspection. The strength of a bear medicine is the power of introspection. It lies in the west on the great medicine wheel of life. Bear see, sees honey or the sweetness of truth within the hollow of an old tree in the winter when the ice cream range and the base of a death is up on the earth bear enters the warm cave to hibernate to di digest the year's experience it is said that our goals reside in the west also to accomplish the goals and dreams that we carry the art of introspection is necessary. So I think that this is the first paragraph of this bear, uh, spirit guide. So I think it's very uh, right on that I just mentioned about the hibernate. So also now you know the bear is on the in the medicine wheel. In the medicine wheel, bear is on the west, on the direction of the west. second paragraph of this uh, bear I think is a very uh, very good message for us to become like bear and enter the safety of the warm warm cave we must attune ourselves to the energies of the eternal mother and receive nourishment from the 
play, placenta of the great void. The great void is the place where all solutions and answers lie, live in harmony with the questions that fill our realities. If we choose to believe that there are many questions to life, we must also believe that the answers to these questions reside within us. That is very true. Each and every being has the ca capacity to quiet the mind, enter the silence, and know. So I think this is kind of uh, uh, kind of just uh, uh, a confirmation about the uh, last year, the end of the last year, we know, uh, we were talking about going inward. We feel like we have to go inward, you know, not much going on outside of, uh, you know, realities that much important. The important is going inward. So this is, a, I think it's very good that it's a confirmation for me and for you that if you're watching or listening, that very important uh, message that uh, no wonder the bear just came came through, and uh, I really pr appreciate that, and I, I'm grateful for that. That I'm, I was the one. I'm the one here to share this information with you, through the book and through the bear energy. So many tribes have called this space of inner knowing the dream lodge where the death of illusion of physical reality overlays the expensiveness of eternity. It is, the, it is in the dream lodge that our ancestors sit in council and advise us regarding alternative pathways that lead to our goal. This is the power of the bear. So yeah, I think this is very powerful that uh, of this message that coming through, the energy coming through, that we were able to uh, to be here and then uh, to uh, anchor this energy and share with you. receptive energy that for centuries has allowed visionaries, mystics, and shamans to pro uh, prophecy is contained in this very special bare energy. Wow. In India, the cave symbolized the cave of uh, Brahma Brahma's cave is considered to be the pineal gland that sits in the center of the four lobes of the brain. Wow. So I mentioned about, when we started, I mentioned about the third eye. So this is also a confirmation on that too. So, you know, everything is, uh, you know, connected. If one were to imitate Image an overview of the head, 
the top of the top it will be a circle the south will be the forehead the north of the back of the skull the west will be the right brain and the east is the left brain so bear is the bear is in the west the intuitive side the right brain okay so to hibernate bear travels to the cave which is the center of the four lobes where the pineal gland resides in the cave bear sees answers while he or she is dreaming or hibernating bear is then reborn in the spring like the opening of the spring flowers okay for eon for eons all seekers of the dream time and vi and of visions have walked the path of the silence calming the internal chatter reaching the place of the reeds of the passage the channel or pineal gland from the cave of the bear you find the pathway to the dream lodge and the and the other levels of imagination or consciousness in choosing bear the power of knowing has invited you to enter the silence and become acquainted with the dream lodge so that your goals may become concrete realities this is the strength of the bear strength of bear so yeah i think this is very powerful information for us today and uh yeah i just uh, finished the show with you so i may just uh, scan that and uh i'll put the descript i'll put it in the description of the uh this video uh so that way you know if you need a visual uh information about the whatever i just uh, share with you from the book then you can kind of read it through so maybe you will get more um, definite and more depth of the energy that coming through from this message from the bear energy So now I'm going to use the uh, flute play, the sound of the flute play, that uh, enhance the connection that we have, we're having right now with the bear energy. So that way, <clears throat> we will take you to this uh, shaman, shamanic uh, journey. Uh, so we go back to uh, like uh, old days, you know, uh, to connect with our our nature, our animals, and then our, our spirit animal.
So we would like to uh, thank and show our gratitude. We are grateful for all the uh, spirits, Archangel and uh, Archangels, Angels and Ascending Masters, uh, Maushasa families, Talos family, Lemurian families, and spirit animals, uh, all your participation today, all the uh, shaman indigenous uh, families that uh, help us today, help to uh, you know deliver and then uh, facilitate the message through me and then share with all of you today. So uh, I didn't plan on that. I just just came through and so I got a book right there so I can just grab it. So I was able to share with you. So it was kind of a surprise, but you know, uh, I've been having this kind of uh, uh, experience with the spirit, you know, uh, ever since my partner Ray passed away. Uh, it's getting more frequent and then more strong. Uh, so I know that he's helping me. He's always here with me and supporting me and then assist me. So uh, I'm also grateful for uh, he was my life partner, you know, forever. And that's not going to change. So anyway, so uh, this is it for today. And uh, take a few deep breaths you, if you have not come back yet. <laughs> so take a few deep breaths and then Slowly open your eyes when you feel like you're ready. Ready, come back. Yeah. So yeah, I will definitely try to uh, make this uh, uh, all the paragraphs, all the paragraphs that I read to you. Uh, become a visual for you and put it in the description so that way you can you know reference with that but I think it's very right on and powerful for me and I think for most of you are watching this and then uh, we will see you next time thank you for joining us today and then uh, we will see you next time thank you bye bye <laughs>